am planting up a bunch of containers this morning, and this one may end up being the most colorful of them all. It's very simple, but it's going to be very effective. Um, I just started out with a lightweight kind of fiberglass container. This is a square one. I think it comes from Home Depot. And I'm starting out by kind of aging or mucking up, I like to call it, the outside of the pot. And basically, I just take my damp gloves, stick them in the dirt, and I just rub them across the front and the sides of the container. And that instantly ages it, which looks a little bit more appropriate to my garden and also makes it look a little bit more expensive, I think. Then, as I said, this is just going to be a container that's brilliant in its simplicity. All I am using are heartthrob hydrangeas. Uh, these are a southern living plant. They bloom this gorgeous cherry red that kind of age to green around the edges of the petals themselves. It's a semi-dwarf compact form. It'll grow to about three feet by three feet in the landscape. So it's going to be perfect for this container. Now I've gotten a head start on this already. I've added a little bit of potting soil. I've got one of them in place. This container is going to take two and about a flat of this gorgeous golden money wart. So easy, you guys. Then, because these are going to bloom all season long, they bloom on new wood. They're repeat bloomers, and I want to make sure that those blooms keep coming on strong throughout the growing season. So I'm going to put in some slow release, really good long-term fertilizer in here, and I'm just kind of mixing that up. And then I've already done a little preparatory work on these plants. And by that, I mean that I have roughed up the root ball, loosened all of the roots so that they won't grow in a circle and they can penetrate this good soil. And then I'm just going to kind of position them in place. Let me see how that looks from this side. And I like the fact that one, I think, is going to sit slightly taller than the other. That gives it kind of a dimensionality that I like. Yep, that's going to look good. And then, like I say, I already have some good potting mix in here. I have some extra to tuck in in between the gaps because I don't want there to be any voids where there is not soil so it would dry out. And then basically, I'm just going to start tucking these around the perimeter. Now, all of these I have also prepared in the same way. I have loosened up the root ball so that these roots can really penetrate into the soil. And here's a tip. I'm kind of planting them on their sides a little bit so that they will start well, they'll look instantly mature, as if they've been growing in place for a while, because this trailer, these trailers, are going to start cascading over the sides immediately. And it will look like they are instantly mature, because the thing is about plants, you guys, the root zone really doesn't know which end is up. So I could plant them like this, or I could plant them on their side. The plants don't care, but, the over, but it really affects the overall look of the container itself. So I'm going to tuck these in here pretty closely. And I love just this, I love color that comes from foliage in general, I guess. And this golden money wart, some people call it Creeping Jenny, is just a perfect solution for that. Now over here, I want a big block of this yellow. And it really depends, you guys, on where you're going to place your container. If it's going to be seen from all sides, if it's just going to be seen from the front. This combo would be spectacular around a pool. I would say the best conditions would be to give it morning shade and afternoon, or excuse me, morning sun and afternoon shade especially in the south. Now, the other thing that I love about these heart throbs, in addition to the fact that as they age, the bloom kind of changes, is they have this same kind of quality, I think, as antique hydrangeas that age so beautifully. So in addition, it, it really doesn't even have just 
oh, I would say just three seasons of interest. I would give it four seasons because we can dry the blossoms and bring them in. So I'm going to add a little bit more here. And there's going to be just this huge pop of gold color spilling out the sides. Now, the more sun I put this in, the more intense the colors of both the blooms themselves and the ground cover. And ground covers, parenthetically, you guys, make really great spillers for any of your garden containers. I'm going to have just enough. Sometimes I like to leave a little bit of a void. So I'll have a little bit of a void here, a little bit of negative space. So I'll fill this in. And this will be in an area where you will be able to see it from all sides. So you'll get that gorgeous pink and red combo. And I love this red too because it's, it's a pinky red. It's not a real deep red because I don't really have that kind of deep red or orangey red in my garden. This is a very cheery cherry almost red and then all I'll do is just make sure that I keep it moist until these plants get established give it some afternoon shade and it will especially with the help of that long-term fertilizer it's just going to keep pumping out buds all summer long so there you go and absolutely beautifully simple and very colorful container for summer. Heartthrob hydrangeas and Creeping Jenny.